Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome back to Cat Cafe Manager where we now have a little bit of a plan for how we'd like to build the rest of our cafe and it turns out that Totally Pawsome awesome is going to end up with a very sort of a British feel to it which is very nice indeed. So over here we are going to have the tea room and of course we sort of have a tea room here already although it's not complete and it is a little bit cramped so that can be a slightly better tea room. In the middle we've got where the cats are going to go on this nice kind of cat flooring so we're going to have the food bowls and the litter trays and the toys and all that kind of stuff and then over here we are going to build a pub which is going to be marvellous so lovely pub stuff over here nice tea room over here and then the kitchen can sort of go over here somewhere and then the bathrooms can be here and here possibly I've had to put the cat menu up by the way because I don't think there is a pause in the game and of course as I'm chatting away here there are many many jobs that need doing so I've put the cat menu up to pause the game so hang on if we get rid of that there we go so where we're standing now we'll put the kitchen so the kitchen can go over here so it's sort of in the middle and then yeah we'll put bathrooms here and bathrooms here that is the plan I noticed that does need dealing with by the way there we go we've cleaned the toilet don't worry oh hang on a minute the cats need food hang on put food in the cat bowls um let's go and chat to some people as well so that's the plan that is the plan I mean yeah look the um the tea room does look quite cramped doesn't it we do need to get some more some more space over here we need to just you know get maybe a few more materials in maybe we could do that tomorrow just get some of the punks in to give us materials and just expand ever so slightly around here just to make it not quite as cramped. And then we need to get that side sorted. And then we need to get the kitchen space up here, get some bathroom space and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, we've got a plan. We have a plan. We now just need to get, you know, the materials and the time to actually execute that plan. Hang on, let's go and chat to some people. Hello, hello, witches, how are you? Look at this, though. We are stocking up on a lot of nectar which is very, very good indeed. That means we can stock up on so many exciting things and then we don't have to worry about kind of ingredients and all that kind of stuff again. Look at that, we're getting fancier food bowls for the cats. You're welcome, cats. Hang on, let's go and pet the cats. Let's go and pet the cats. Hello, cats, how are you? There we go, very nice. Um, Right, is it closing time? I think, yeah, it's closing time, isn't it? Right, now one thing that we are going to do, oh, hang on. One thing we're going to do right now is fix the machine. There we go, fixy fix. And um, one thing we are going to do right now um, is something that a lot of people picked up on uh, after the previous video. Loads of people in the comments said, why have you left this chair there, Penge? What is the purpose of this? Um, yeah, it, it's a very good call. I mean, we left it there because I think it looks very nice here and not at all because I completely forgot that it was there and somehow managed to overlook it's sort of weird position for much of the previous video. Um, no, I, I just didn't see it. I just didn't see it. I was kind of happily just running around the magic chair there, which is a bit weird, isn't it? You think I might have noticed, but uh, no, I just didn't see it. So let's move it. Let's move that over to a table so we can at least actually make use of it now. Because, yeah, they couldn't, nobody could sit at that chair because there was no table. So now we can get an extra person in, which is very nice. Um, okay, I think... Let's pop over to let's pop over to the town and we shall go to the market. And yeah, we'll just stock up on loads of things here. I mean, yeah, bread. We're going to need a bit more. So two lots of bread. Um, I can see us needing. I mean, could we just get we can't get one lot of everything because some lot is 70. So hang on. Coffee beans we always need. So get some get some of those. Um, I mean herbs possibly get some of those. What are we down to? 158. Um, okay, how about then? We get 10 lots more of the root beer and then we could get either one thing that's worth 70 or two things that are worth 30. I mean, it's looking OK. We've got lots and lots of things. How about then we stock up on, uh, I don't know, milk. Let's stock up on milk, shall we? There we go. Thanks a bunch. You're welcome, my friend. Um, OK, and then can we go to look at the furniture so let's go and have a look. So what can we buy? Can we buy anything exciting? Right, we can buy some more elegant chairs to go in the tea room bit to get rid of the rubbish chairs. So um, yeah, let's get, and we can buy one, I think. So we shall buy one more elegant chair. Um, oh, no, apparently, oh, okay. I thought we had 200, maybe it was 300. And I just forgot how to do numbers. Um, how about then we grab one of these? Why don't we grab something exciting? I mean, a chalkboard menu, that can go anywhere. That doesn't necessarily need to go into, you know, either either side. It doesn't have to be in the tea room side or in the pub side. That could just go anywhere. Okay, that's quite exciting. A painting or some flowery sort of plant type things. I mean, if we were going to get flowers, we'd go for those. We'd go for elegant flowers because you get one point of plants, but then you get two points of expensive 
um, down there. Maybe we'd leave that. Maybe for now. Hang on, go back to the cafe. Um, let's go to decorate. So let's get rid of one of the get rid of one of the terrible chairs. So away with you. That can go in a box forever. Um, and then yeah, we'll put the cozy chair just there. So we still need one to. Oh, hang on. No, but there's gonna be nine chairs on this side and nine chairs on that side because last time we worked out that the maximum amount of chairs you can have is 18. So hang on. So it's gonna be. So yeah, we need to get one, two, three more cozy chairs. And then we're done. That's going to be it for this side. That's going to be very easy to get to. Um, yeah, for now, we've got to have this kind of setup. Um, okay, so who would we like to come round tomorrow then? Oh, hang on. We've got some cat puts. Oh, we have. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Uh, right, you're level four. So let's train you up and you can have a point with the punks. There we go. And we do want to get the punks in. So clear everything. So get the punks in because they give us materials. And then, I mean, we could do with getting some more cat stuff in. So let's bring the fishermen in. Let's bring the fishermen in and top upon those and then possibly bring the artists in as well. That'll be okay. Okay, right, confirm that. And um, oh, we can call a regular, we didn't do that. Okay, hang on a minute, we'll do that in the morning. It's fine, right, skip to the morning. We should have done okay, I think. We might not get an A out of it, but no, B is okay. A B is okay. I will absolutely take a B, that is wonderful. Right, so here we go. Um, and yes, it says you can call a regular. So let's bring a regular in, shall we? Let's go and have a chat with somebody. I mean, Mateo is almost at level three. I thought we were at level three with you, Mateo, but let's get you back up to level three then. So clearing up my schedule for you, friendo. See you soon. Yep, absolutely. You pop on by and we'll have a lovely old chat. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just sort of keep things ticking over over here whilst we wait for people to run in. The only thing with that chair being there is that it is in the way a bit now. So we do need to expand a bit. Yeah, we could do is just getting another, another maybe sort of even just a bit down here, maybe. Just get that bit over there. Hang on a minute, let's have a chat with you. So get another sort of um, column of you know, space over there, floor space there, and then a bit across the top. And that will be okay, because then we can have tables across the top and then a gap through the middle, so we don't have to keep sort of bumping into chairs as we go by. Um, that should be okay. And then, of course, we do need to get the whole kitchen set up over there as well, and bathrooms and all that kind of stuff. But, um, but yeah, there we go. Hopefully... If the punks are coming in, we can pick up quite a bit of materials and then do some building. There is Mateo. Penge, friendo. Oh, there we go. Friendship up. Penge, friendo. Stop calling me friendo. It's a bit odd. You look like you could really use someone unloading their anxieties on you. Oh, do I? <laughs> Lucky for you. I just so happen to have some primo anxieties ready for unloading. You know, ah, well, big eyebrows, big hair, big anime DVD collection you think no one knows about. I like to think we're real close. We grew up together, you know. Oh, I didn't know that. You don't seem you know, like you were old friends or something. Uh, we ran roughshod all over town. Ah, the amount of times we relieved Bonner of his prized fishing beanie. Oh, okay, so you two are buddies. And then you went in very different directions. Okie doke. If Arwell ever tells you we're still not best buds, that's just that little in-joke, okay? Arwell's such a joker. Anyway, I will find out that I'm helping Hawkeable set up shop here in town. He didn't take too kindly to it. Called me a no-good parrot lover. I think he meant it as an insult. I think I should be hurt by that. Tell me, Penge, do you think it's bad for me to work with Hawkable? Okay, now they seem like troublemakers, but we don't know that much about them. We don't know too much about Hawkable. So yeah, they're the ones that are coming in, the big kind of corporation that are coming into the little village and they're causing problems. But I mean, for all I know, they might be doing all sorts of responsible things. I've never checked them out myself. I've just got you know, the word of, of people that have told me stuff because got hearsay. Um, it's a good thing. That's not for me to say. I think it's definitely not great. Do you know what? It's not for me to say. I don't know. I don't know a lot about them. Uh, well, that isn't a lot of help, is it? But I suppose I understand. Um, Siri, add this to my lonesome burdens list. Be sure to add the crying emoji, babe. When I was a kid, my father took me to the city. The tall buildings took my breath away. Look up there, little Mateo, he said, as he pointed up at the gleaming upper floors of these spires. We have it good, but up there is where folks want for nothing. Catterwall is my hometown. I understand that the old folks like Bonner and Gavin can settle for it staying just the way it is. But let's be honest, Catterwall is on its way out. People leave, cats roam the streets. I'm not stupid, I know Hawkable isn't just here because it has Catterwall's best interests in mind. But I honestly believe working with Hawkable is the only way to make sure this town has a future. I see this is tricky, isn't it? Because that sort of also makes sense. If Hawkable don't come in and help out, is this town just, no, not town, is the village just going to sort of, you know, collapse and wither away into nothingness? Maybe Hawkable are the right thing to do. We do not know. I'll, I'll have to think this over, bud. Thanks for being honest with me. 
Okay, not a problem. And we got... We got a beanbag chair. Oh, that's very exciting. Comfort 15. Oh, it's the comfiest of all the things. Okay, right, hang on. We're going to deploy that right now because that means we can get rid of another one of those terrible chairs. So get rid of that and put in the very exciting beanbag chair. That might end up in the pub eventually. But right now we can go over there. Oh, I like that. That's very good. Um, okay, right. So we're up to friendship level three with him, which is very good. Let's just take some orders over here. Or we can serve a pretzel. Even though we didn't actually make the pretzel, we can serve it. Because, yeah, somebody pointed out in the comments, we have magic teleporting kind of, you know, service tray type things. We'll serve that root beer as well. Um, have we got any people level up points? Yeah, we've got four staff points. We could do with possibly speeding up our serving skill because we are taking a little while. We'll take all the orders, though. It's okay. I don't mind taking the orders over here. Hello. Oh, hang on. Somebody's already serving you a pretzel. Let's serve you a beer. We'll serve you a pretzel. We're getting quite a lot of lovely materials, which is going to be very handy. Uh, we'll take your order. Okay, let's run back over here. We'll take your order. And there we go. We've done our research as well. So we've unlocked basic food bowls. Okay, so let's select a new project. Um, I mean, part of me, part of me thinks do we unlock nice toilets. It's not very exciting. Um, the, the laws I'm not so bothered about. What's that? More cats. Oh, we can have two more cats. Oh, hang on. Why don't we do that? Is that the maximum we can have? I know there's another two there as well. So we could have another four cats. Oh, oh, that could be very exciting, couldn't it? We still need to get our sort of cat relaxation stuff and we haven't got any of the toys or whatever yet. Or do we start unlocking the pub furniture stuff and then we can start building the pub side and then at least we've got then you know, the two halves done. I think maybe, maybe for now... Let's get, I mean, we are going to need more seats though, aren't we? Hang on, we'll get that done first because we'll have that done in hardly any time at all. We'll have that done in no time at all. Right, hang on, let's go and help you out. Hello, let me take your order. Oh, somebody else took your order. We're very efficient around here. Let's serve you some beer instead. Um, I mean, look at that, yeah, 202 materials, loads of jewels, loads of gold. Got loads of gold going on, that's wonderful. Um, and then down here, let's take your order for a salad. There you go, hang on, you want to chat. Let's go and have a chat with you. Hello. And uh, you over there will serve you your salad. Even though we didn't make it, but okay, we've ended up with it somehow. We'll serve you some tea that we've magically acquired. Um, yeah, okay, so it's all looking good. What time is it? It's not even getting near to the end of the day yet. But already, we're 97 points toward the 350. 113 now. 127 now toward the 350 we need to get the pub furniture. So that means it's flying through. It's flying through, really. We're working our way through the research stuff quite quickly now. Um, and I think, yeah, the cats are helping as well. The cats have got fancy levels now, so it's all looking good. Is everything looking all right over here? Yeah, all looking good. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> kind of feel... Hang on. Was that the end of the day? Was that the end of the day? You can call a regular. I thought we already called a regular. Oh, okay. We can call many regulars. Okay, let's clean the litter boxes, because that's sort of important. Okay. Right, so we did that with some litter over there as well. Hang on, clean that up as well. Uh, right, so now I think we've got... Look, I've got plenty of materials. So if we go to build, we should be able to do this. Right, and yeah, some people have pointed out that behind here, uh, there is no flooring, I don't think, because there was wall behind there. So there we go. So now we've got flooring over there. And then, yeah, if we just start thinking about getting this sorted. So how much is it? It's 33 per square. Wow, okay. Okay, it's it's quite costly to get the flooring in. So we can get another... That's it. That's all we can do for the tea room. I mean, it's not much, is it? It's not much. Probably should have done it with the right flooring, but never mind. Um, Like that. So I think that's what we want to do over here as well. So really... Uh, I mean, do we just do what we did there again? Hang on, hang on. No, no, no. I know what we need to do right now. Let's pop over to the town and go to Pet Goods. Because now we can get these things. We can get basic food bowls and we can get a scratch post. We can get a bouncy ball, that kind of stuff. So yeah, the scratch post is relaxation three. Bouncy ball is, yeah, entertainment and playtime. Um, and then we've got litter boxes. I think, let's get them. I mean, what they got for relaxation? I've got nothing for relaxation. We can't afford two of these, I don't think. No, we can get one thing. So we can either get... One scratch post or one lovely toy. We're going to get a toy. Let's get let's get a fish plushie. That sounds fun. We shall have one of those. Lovely. It is lovely, isn't it? Absolutely, Carla Lala. Um, and yeah, okay, that will do, I think. 
that will do. Can we get any other furniture yet? What are we going to get? The plant thing. Uh, oh, yeah. We can get that now. We can get elegant flowers. Okay, let's invest in those. Why not? And we'll just bring the same people back in. How are we looking for... How are we looking for, like, resources? Hang on a minute. Um, it's looking okay. Root beer is looking a little bit low. So I think... Hang on a second. Hang on. If we return to the cafe and go to here... Uh, right, so we'll put the little sort of cat toy thing down there. Um, and then that can go in the... Hang on, that could go up there for now, couldn't it? Do you know what we could do? Hang on, we could put that in the corner. We can move that chair. So now we've got a little way through the middle, which is very nice. We can move... Oh, hang on a minute. We need to move the table over. Yeah, hang on, move the table. Put the beanbag back in. There we go. So a little bit more room to run around in. And then, of course, when that side's done, and we've got the kitchen up here, it's going to be really spacious. Um, yeah, okay, so I think what we need to do now is uh, let's not bring the fishermen in anymore. We'll have the artists and we'll have the punks. Maybe that's it. Maybe we just don't hang on, no, no artists. Let's get the let's get business people in and punks. Stock up on gold, stock up on kind of, you know, supplies, materials, whatever they are. I think that sounds like our best plan. Yeah, okay, right, skip to the morning. So let's see how we did. Uh, yeah, look at that. Mateo really does like us quite a bit. And we got an S. Is that better than an A? I mean, everyone seems very happy. I think S is like super, super duper. It's better than A. Um, and yeah, we picked up some stuff as well, which is very nice. Right, now, who do you want to invite in? Because I imagine, yeah, we can call somebody else in. I mean, let's have a quick look, shall we? So let's ring somebody up. I mean, if we call our well, he might give us a great big pile of, of uh, materials. And we could do with working on his sort of friendship level. Let's give him a call. Sure, fine. Yeah, okay, whatever. I'm coming round to your, to your stupid cafe, drink your stupid drinks. <laughs> All right, oh well. <laughs> Drop the attitude, my good sir. It's a bit grumpy. Um, There he is, there he is, looking all kind of full of himself. Um, Right, okay, so let's see what he does. Because I don't know if we can get up to the next friendship level with him right now. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, so it's run time on until yeah, either the yeah we get the pub furniture unlocked or Arwell decides to have a little chat with us. Okay, so first up is Arwell talking to us. Man, I miss when Totally Pawson was an empty field. It was perfect for spinning donuts. Oh, you rebel! And um, apparently we can call somebody else. Oh, okay, let's ring somebody else. Let's bring somebody else in. And um, how about? I mean, can we call Arwell again? Or is he not going to come by? Let's call Bonner then, because Bonner's only on level two. We'll call Bonner. Ah, you sound ready for a story. Coming right up. Okay, so Arwell did give us some materials, which is very nice. Um, yeah, okay, right. Let's run time on until until either we get Bonner in. I'm not entirely sure he will come in, because we've had our visitor. There he is. There he is. Oh, we got two today. Okay, that's quite nice. Um, okay, I think looks like it with the amount of people we've got around the place. Oh, hang on. We can chat with Bonner. Oh, no, that wasn't a chat chat. It was just a chat action type thing. Um, yeah, so let's just let's keep running time on. I imagine we're going to get pub furniture done first because we are flying through these things going very quickly through all the different customers. But, uh, yeah, we will see. In fact, you know what? One more customer. And there we go. Right, so pub furniture is now unlocked. So bar stools, rustic tables, sheepskin rugs, a curly tree... Curly tree. <laughs> I've been to many pubs, and when I walk in, I don't look, go to the pub and go, right, okay, there's the bar, there's the lovely sort of, you know, roaring kind of fireplace. Where's the curly tree? Okay, a bar, a bar sink, a bar barrel, bar counter, wooden crack. Okay, right, wonderful. Oh, there's a pub coffee machine. Maybe we need like multiple kitchens. Maybe we should have multiple kitchens. Uh, there's a like a bar fry and a bar cutting board. Okay, right. Let's pick a new project. I mean, yeah, do we get another couple of cats? Do we go for some more cats now? Or do we go for fancier toilets? Or do we up our chair limit to the maximum it can be? And then we don't need to worry about that again. I think let's do that. Let's get more seats. We just get that up to the top it can be. That that's yeah. Then it's done then, isn't it? It's just kind of out of the way. We need not sort of stress about that at any point. Then, yeah, we'll get that done. It's a bit of a bigger research project. But, Joe, it's looking good. It's looking good. We're flying through the research. We can kind of get one regular sort of 350 sort of uh, whatever. What is it again? Delight. So one 350 delight bit of research done in around a day, I think, wasn't it? Possibly just over a day. So I think, yeah, it's going to take a couple of days to get that in. Um, and then, yeah, if we do expand enough, and if we're able to get some more seats in, 
then um, then yeah, we can get even more people in and earn even more delight throughout the day. Um, Nana be proud of you. Uh, take care not to forget that. Lots of people said how we pronounce that again in the comments and I've completely forgotten. I'll just say Nan. I'll say Nan. Nan will be real proud of you. Take care not to forget that. Oh, I won't do. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you think that she'd be proud of us. That's nice. Right, so clean that. Everything all right over here. Well, do you know what? We'll make some drinks. There we go. We've made drinks. We're making lots of drinks. So you can serve them over there <laughs> with the magic serving platforms. Right, hang on a minute. Over here, prepare some latte, prepare some latte, go to there, prepare some latte. My goodness me. Yeah, we do need to get the get some witches in, possibly. And the townsfolk, filled with delight, have helped a lot in restoring the cat shrine. You decide to go and take a look. Oh, we've reached a new kind of limit. You're startled by the mysterious black cat's high-pitched voice. When did it enter the clearing? The shrine is looking much better. I would say it's equal to a box of cardboard. This is high praise. <laughs> okay, Grimalkin. Um, I can tell you some questions for myself. Come then, ask away. I mean, yeah, what are you? Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Do you know the old human saying, black cats bring ill fortunes? I'm as old as this saying. I am the Grimalkin. The grim days to which I have my name are long gone. However, now I simply look after the cats of this small valley and this shrine. But I've lacked the strength to do so for some time now. I spent some time watching the humans of the town, little thing. They said that Hawkable isn't content to put his dirty claws all over the village, but that it now wishes to roost here, in this glade. We must keep our ears perked and our eyes out for this hawk, little thing. I do not trust it, not one bit. The Grimalkin disappears, leaving you alone with a progressively more enchanting shrine. Okay, it didn't look any different, but okay, right, there's a little bit of cleaning to do. Let's go and pet the cats. Hello, cats, how are you? Can't pet the cats. Why well, can't I pet? There we go. Petting the cats. Very nice. Um, okay. Well, hang on a minute. They need food. That might help out quite a bit, mightn't it? There we go, cats. You've got some food. Uh, okay. So, cat level ups. Got a couple of points. So, let's get you leveled up. That's going to take two of those points. Yeah, you can become very good at working with the business people. Why not? And then we do have quite a few staff points as well. And I think... Hang on. If we maxed out... Have we maxed out the amount of staff we can have? Uh, no, we haven't, but it's unlikely we're going to go up to that anytime soon. So I think what we'll do is we'll spend all these now and then we'll keep the rest of them for when we get a new person. Although we can only do three. We can only do three level ups. Do you know what? We do less than everybody else, really, because we sort of bumble around the place. So how about we give everybody else the level ups? So you go up to level nine. And you become better at, I mean, I don't know which one. You can become better at cooking. And you can become, let's just put everybody better at cooking. That's fine. So everyone can become better at cooking. So yeah, six and fives, eights and sevens. So why have they got different level ups? Oh, hang on a minute. Is it because we've got lots of tea room furniture, so you get a boost? Whereas we haven't quite got enough magical furniture or enough brown kind of bar furniture in quite yet. We will get there in time, however. Do not worry. And then, um, yeah, we'll have to treat ourselves to a level up at some point. Because, yeah, we're not very good, look. We're not very good at serving or cooking or anything. Although we can do all the other bits and bobs. Um, yeah, okay. Right, and now let's go. We've got 468 materials. We shall burn through those very quickly, I imagine. But, um, okay, so let's expand the floor over there. There we go. That is the tea room, I think, sorted. I think that is now done. Right, put the cat thingamabobs like that. Um, and then the pub. I mean, the pub would go quite well with this flooring. That that looks quite good, I think. Um, so we need another... Yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be another day of getting the people in here. We can get one more thing, can we? And that's it. It costs 38 now. Does it cost a little bit more each time we build? Um, so yeah, we're going to need another day of the punks coming in, I think. So how about we have punks and we have the witches coming in to give us some more nectar so we can buy more ingredients for things. Because yeah, then we need the punks to come back in re repeatedly again and again and again. It's going to be a punk cafe for a while. Um, yeah, okay, do you know what? Let's get them in. Let's do that. Let's get the witches and the punks in. Confirm that. Skip to the morning. Let's see how we did today. Oh, well... Still only on friendship level two. We'll try. We'll bring him back in as well. Uh, rank of A. Uh, yeah, so let's get Arwell back in. If we can ring him up. We can't ring him up quite yet. Okay, I mean, when we can, we'll get on the phone to Arwell 
and we'll bring him back in because that means we can get his friend level up and he might give us a huge big pile of materials which we do need to continue the huge big building project we've got going on. Okay, we have a little bit of a problem. It seems that we've worked our way through our stock of root beer and we haven't got enough nectar to actually buy any more quite yet. So we need some of the witches to pay us in nectar so we can go and pick up some more root beer. Yeah, okay, right, we do need to get that sorted. Hang on a minute, hang on, I'm chatting. I'm chatting very slowly to this person. My goodness me, this is a very long conversation. <laughs> okay, and there we go. Yeah, can we, can one of the witches leave and give us some nectar, please? Because we're very much in need of some more nectar. And yeah, I have noticed that, yeah, there's quite a bit of a, a, a more of a demand for the toilet. And people are a bit grumpy if they need the loo and somebody else is in there. Um, oh no, what's that you're ordering? Now you're ordering fancy stuff that we can't provide. Hang on a minute, we haven't got the root beer. Ah, right, okay. We've got 76, we can go to the market and we can get root beer back in. Yeah, we've got none at all. Uh, bottled root beer. Oh, we're going to run out of coffee as well. We're going to run out of coffee. Okay, we might need to do a bit of a, um, do a, bit of a stock up on uh, nectar again with the witches. Because that is going to be a problem, isn't it? Um, okay, right, let's run time on. Can we? Ah, we can call a regular as well. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Let's bring Arwell back in. Get on the old blower. Right, um, yeah, Arwell, come back in. Yep, okay, he'll pop by. Um, so, yeah, we'll just try and keep things ticking over as best we can. But yeah, it's looking very good already in terms of getting more seats sorted. So, uh, yeah, we'll come back when Arwell pops by and we have a nice chat with him. Oh, he's giving us a bit of attitude now, Arwell is. Okay, Arwell, I know you're a punk and everything, but, you know, manners are free. I'd offer to help you out, but turns out I don't care. Okay, so we haven't quite got up to friendship level three with him, but lots of happy people leaving. And look at that. We're flying through this now. Um, okay, I think what we do is we do exactly the same thing again. We stock up on nectar and we stock up on materials. Because I think that is what we need to do. However, let's pop over to the market right now. Because, yeah, we're running low on many, many things. Um, so, coffee beans. We need some more of those. We need some more lettuce. And we need some more root beer. That might well burn through our supplies quite quickly. Okay. Um, what else are we looking low on? Bread and milk, possibly. A classic thing you go to the shop for. Right, so milk and bread. Okay. Right, so I think, yeah, we get those same groups in again. Let's bring them in again, and then when we've got a huge pile of materials, we shall go and do some more building. Hang on a minute, let's fix the machines. Uh, let's just go and say hello to the cats quick whilst we're here. Um, oh, hang on. And we can get our level up as well, so let's train ourselves. Now, do we get a point in... I mean, cleaning doesn't take long. Cooking, uh, cooking and service are the main things. Cat care, it's okay. We're okay at looking after the cats. Fixing, we do that so kind of infrequently. I don't really see the point of levelling that up. We don't do that very often. I think possibly service, because we spend a lot of time over here. So maybe we get our service up a little bit, so we're not quite as slow at serving people. Um, and then we'll save up loads of these points. I think that's what we need to do. Um, yeah, okay, right, skip to the morning. Let's see what we can do on day 27. Another load of punks and witches coming in. And then when we've got all our building materials sorted, we don't need to get the punks back in again, I don't think. So I think that's, yeah, we only use them for building materials. So once we've got our floor plan sorted, that side is done. That half there is done. I suppose we could build another bit down there if we wanted to, to make it a little bit more roomy. But, you know, for the most part, it's kind of all done. Um, then we don't need to bring the punks back in again. But it's going to be a while, isn't it? It's going to be a while. Hang on, let's bring Arwell back in. Yeah, yeah, okay, Arwell. <laughs> with your attitude. You know you love it here, Arwell. And we've levelled up with Arwell. Wonderful. Yo, fancy seeing you here in your place of work. <laughs> okay, Arwell, are you feeling okay? I'm here to judge our new dishes. Oh, what's up, Arwell? Oh, yeah, he was unhappy with the food, wasn't he, last time? Um, okay, yeah, here to judge our new dishes. I'm not entirely sure we have anything new. We've got a salad, which is just, like, lettuce. I think that was kind of it. Um, yeah, they stink, as in the quality of meaning of stink. They actually smell quite nice. Still lacking in punch, though. Uh, like, qualitative punch. I could take this food in a fight if it tried, though. <laughs> Are you feeling all right, Arwell? Are you feeling all right? Did you have something that you shouldn't have eaten or something? Um, anyhow, I've got to get your opinion on a thing. So I was arguing with my pal. Uh, Jim Bus? Jim Bus. My good pal, Jim Bus. You don't have a pal called Jim Bus. You're fibbing. He's uh, studying to be a chef. Like me. We argued about what's the most important in a kick-ass meal. I say, Jim Bus, my good friend, it's obviously your ingredients. Get them fresh and chunky and hunky, and your dish will be delish. <laughs> 
fresh and chunky and hunky. A jam is all like, oh, oh, well, well, you're so smart, but without proper technique, those ingredients wouldn't matter one bit. So who's right, me or Jim Bus? I mean, it's a combination of both. It's a combination of both. Ingredients are important, but then if you've got no technique, then they'll end up terrible. I mean, yeah, I, I can't bake. I can't bake a cake at all. I could have the finest cake baking ingredients, but when I put them together and try and cook a cake, it will likely end up a kind of terrible, horrible disaster. Um, but then I suppose it's the other way around. You could be the best person in the world. You could be the best chef ever. But if someone goes, right, okay, make me a cake, and they give you, I don't know, some grass and a half an egg, then you're going to struggle to make a cake. So it's a bit tricky, I would say. I don't think either of you are right. It's a combination of both. Um, it's something else, or what's Jimbus's last name? It's something else. It's, it's a combination of those. It's cooking, brilliance overall, and also ingredients as well. Um, it's something else. You think I know more than uh, me and Jim Jinbus, my very real friend combined, huh? What is it? It's a love, ah, well. Or garlic. I mean, garlic does make a lot of things better. I mean, not in my cake example. I mean, I don't put garlic in my cakes. That's not where I'm going wrong. Um, it's love, ah, well. Let's go down the happy option. We're running a cat cafe. That sounds nice. Love is a secret ingredient? I thought that was just an anime thing. Thanks for giving me your take. I have tons of real friends like Jingus. Hang on a minute, what? <laughs> but I wouldn't mind if you want to tell folks we're pals. We're pals, pal. Don't you have other friends besides Jumbus? Okay, this name keeps changing. We're pals, pal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, pal. I uh, used to butt around with Mateo too when we were little kids, but he got all weird. Stopped being into burning trash for fun. Started being into burn rates, whatever those are. And now he's off of the town up to Hawkable. I'm surprised he didn't get the golden platter out yet. Suddenly, I will looks quite tired. <sighs> I gotta go. Bye. Oh, okay. Cheerio. Received dummy hog. Call to entertainment to... Okay, that's going in the pub. That's going in the pub bit. We'll put it down now because we get the boost for it. But yeah, that's definitely going on the pub side of things. Um, hang on. I noticed the litter boxes do need cleaning. We need to sort that out because otherwise there's going to be awful sort of cat mess over here. Oh, hang on. I need to fix the thingamajig. Let me do some drinks for you all. Hang on a second. Okay, people are asking for new food types. I'm not quite sure what some of these things are. That looked a little bit like a sort of, yeah, baked sort of jacket potato type thing. There's definitely a fancier looking sandwich type thing there. I'm not entirely sure what that is either. But yeah, we might need to possibly think about unlocking the food stuff. Because, yeah, people are asking for new things and they're not going to be happy. And we're not going to get enough delight points out of them. So, yeah, possibly we do need to think about that. Although we are getting a lot of people coming through the door. We've got an awful lot of people around the place. So, then we should be okay with picking up the delight points. But, yeah, look, that's some sort of fancy big tall milkshake or something, is it? I don't know. There we go. A lovely salad. That's what you want to eat. A delicious salad. Although we are picking up a lot of nectar. So, we can go and stock up on lots of things. Um, well, what time do we close? We close at seven-ish, don't we? So if we could just get that sandwich over to you, that'll make you happy. You're going to leave. Hang on a minute, I'll serve you a salad. There you go. Right, eat up because it's kicking out of time. And there we go. We can now have another four chairs, which means we can have the maximum of 18 seats. We're not quite at that point yet, but we're nearly there. Um, and I think now, let's go. I mean, yeah, do we get that? That means we're going to have to do the kitchen stuff, though. Maybe we have another day of disappointing people with food and we just go let's get let's get a nice toilet unlocked let's unlock a nice toilet or do we unlock i mean there's a big litter box there so we could have only one litter box that would be ideal wouldn't it two more cats get some fancy lure type things um i don't know what do we go for if we go for these we're gonna have to have different kitchen stuff and our kitchen area isn't quite ready yet um how about then we unlock. Yeah, let's unlock fancy litter boxes. Let's turn our attention to the cats just for a bit. And we'll get that in no time. We get all this stuff very, very quickly indeed. Um, right, okay. So, um, cats. Yep, we can level up a cat, I think. So, let's level up Brian the cat. Level you up. You are very good with the witches. Very nice. Um, and uh, let's go to the town. Let us stock up on things at the market. So, lettuce looks like we're going through that quick. Uh, root beer going through that quick we might not need that much root beer in the future so that might be okay uh we'll get some bread we'll get some i mean what's looking low lettuce is still looking pretty low we'll get some more lettuce we've still got 162 nectar that's wonderful um stock up on coffee beans and stock up on herbs possibly and stock up on tea leaves 
And then we could get one more thing. We could get ham. Just stock up on loads of ham. Look at that. Everything is in the 20s except root beer. We might not necessarily need that much more root beer. So hang on. Go to here. No, not go to that. That's the wrong button. Go to here. That would be better. Um, right. So how big can we get? I mean, can we get all of that done? Look at that. That is the floor space for the pub. So the pub space is now done. And now we just need to kind of build the kitchen bit up here. So let's see. So that's 41 per square now. The cost is going up and up and up. So if we build across the back like that. Okay, now what have we got? 79. And it's costing 43. Right, okay. We're going to need to do bring the bring the punks back in for another day. But I think we're not too far off kind of, you know, getting rid of the punks now. So yeah, we can put, I think we have some toilets over here and some toilets over there. And then we have our kitchen over here. So the kitchen does need to be a little bit bigger, I would say. Um, so yeah, we'll put a square there for now. So I think yeah, if we have the kitchen, we're going to need loads more of those. We're going to need so many more materials. Okay, do you know what? That's fine. Let's go back over here. Clean the loo. Um, let's go to the next day. Let's see how we did. Again, I'd like to think we did quite well. I think we did okay today. Uh, a B, yeah. We'll take that. A B is good. Um, now, who do you want to come in today? I think we bring the punks in. Bring the witches back in just to stock up on things a bit more. Um, and then possibly, possibly bring in some artists, maybe? Yeah, let's bring the artists in. Let's mix it up a little bit. And I think let's give Bonner a call because he's the only one that's on a level two friendship level thing. So let's bring you in and then we can get up to level three with you. That's all very exciting. Um, okay, and yeah, things are ticking over quite nicely. Again, people are asking for things that we can't provide these sort of things here. And when that does happen, we have to go over and chat to them to basically give them the bad news that the thing they're asking for, we can't give them. And then they order something else. But I don't think the, uh, I don't think the staff can do that. That has to be us. So we have to kind of you know, keep an eye out for things. We can't just sort of stand around and let the staff do all the work now. We have to go and actively kind of do that. So when there's something that can't be, can't be provided, we have to go over and say, I'm really sorry, but we don't have that. Why are you asking for that? It's not on the menu. We're a cafe. Stop ordering awkward things. But, uh, but yeah, so we have to go and do that ourselves. But uh, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Keeps us busy over here, like just dashing around, taking orders and doing all that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, it's all looking good. So yeah, let's wait until Bonner pipes up and we can have a nice chat with him. And there we go, up to friendship level three with Bonner. Oh there, Penge, say, you just look about ready for another story. Bonner squints his eyes shut, as if forcing a faraway memory to resurface. Once, as a much younger man, but already devilishly handsome, of course, I found myself trekking through a dark forest. These words had a bit of a ghost story associated with them. Creepy pasties, I believe you call them these days. <laughs> do you know what? It'll do. It's close enough. Some lads on the boat I worked on talked about this creature, the Grim, which haunted the woods, making folks disappear and all that. Okay, was the Grim sort of, you know, cat-shaped and, you know, catish? Uh, naturally, brave and foolish as I was, I loudly declared I'd go in and prove to him no creature be disappearing me, Grim or otherwise. Just as I rounded a tree, a dark shape attacked me. After a mighty struggle, I was freed, but taken off with my prize fishing beanie. Uh, okay, hang on. No, uh, I think I might know where that went. We won't talk about it. It's fine. You carry on. Being filled with what? Little Finley calls himbo energy. <laughs> I quickly followed the beast to get me beanie back. I trekked it into this clearing where these weird statues. A lady and a young man were studying them, talking excitedly. The beast, now not so fierce, snuggled up to the lady. Anyways, that's the story of I got me cap stolen by a rascally cat. And now your man uh, and and met your gran and Gavin. Oh, that's how you met gran and Gavin as well. Who you then married. That's wonderful. Ha ha ha. It's also the first time I came to Catawall. I'd keep coming back for many a year until I found myself living here. Speaking of, you moved from the city, didn't you? If you don't mind me asking, why did you make the move? Okay, I didn't like the city. I wanted to make a fresh start. That seems about right, doesn't it? Ha <laughs> ha, that's why I first moved here, you know. Try my hand at something new. Uh, it was real exciting to marriage. Not a lot of folks could make old Bonner give up the open sea. But Gavin, he wrote me this poem. Or was it a song? Bonner once again squints his eyes shut. But after a long moment, he seems to give up. Well, never mind that. Ha ha ha. If the Bonner's usually jolly laugh has an unexpected nervous edge. But don't be nervous, Bonner. It's okay. Either way, hope you find your fresh start, Penge. I won't keep you any longer, Penge. Be seeing ya. Okay, we get a new thing. We've got Bonner's bottled ship. Oh, that's lovely. Two art points. Do you know what? We shall throw that down right now. Again, that's a very pubby sort of a thing. We'll pop that over the pub side. 
Um, right, hang on. We've got many, many things to be dealing with. Hang on a second. Also, the cats need some food because they're not going to be happy. Um, get, we'll get over here. We'll start doing some sort of, um, yeah, food and drink prep as well. Look, we're helping. Okay, end of the day. We didn't seem to do quite as well that day in terms of materials. Maybe because we had other people in as well. But Nectar is looking very good again. So I think now, if we pop over to the market once again, I think, yeah, we can stock up on all these things. And I know people are asking for new food stuff. But right now, let's keep things ticking over in terms of what we offer people at the moment. We'll get the whole sort of layout sorted. And then we can start. Uh, you know, buying all sorts of extra bits, but I just kind of want to get the floor sort of layout sorted. So, you know, the footprint of the, the footprint of the cafe I'd like to get done. So here we go. So what do we need some more of? I mean, I think we might need some more building material. So again, we're going to bring the punks back in. So that, get some lettuce, get some, get two lots of coffee beans. Why not stock up on those? Um, oh, crikey, we're going through stuff already. Like we don't get much from this, do we? Um, and how about we stock up on more coffee beans? because everybody seems to drink a lot of coffee around here and not enough tea, I will be completely honest. Right, okay, there we go, so that's good. Right, return to the cafe. Let's do some more decorating, do some more building. Right, so we can get those two bits done there, bring that down like that. I mean, look at that. We're already down to 78, we can build one more square. See, I'd like to get kind of that and that done on that side. So I have another bit there and another bit there, because I think we're going to need quite a few kitcheny bits across the back. We're going to need a sink and the fridge and the chopping boards. I mean, how big is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It'll be nine. So that'll have nine, sort of nine wide. But we can put stuff on the side if we need to. And then, yeah, have the loos over here. Okay, right. So, again, new plan, new plan. We're stocked up with the nectar stuff for now, so that should be okay. Got plenty of jewels going on, so we don't need those. How about we just have the punks? Just have the punks coming in all day, although, hang on, hang on, confirm that. How much root beer do we have? Where's our supplies thing? Hang on, how do we find that out? Is it on the menu? Um, yeah, we've got 28 root beers. So that should be okay. That should be okay. So, yeah, look, this is on the menu. Stop asking for things that aren't on the menu, everybody. <laughs> that's just very troublesome. Um, yeah, okay, I think that's what we do. Just have one day where we just have punk solely, yeah, it's punk day, if you like, um, and stock up on materials. Finally get the whole sort of floor plan sorted. Yeah, let's do that. Let's fly through this and we'll bring uh, we'll bring Thingy back in as well. We'll bring Arwell back in because then he can give us even more materials. Yep. Okay, right. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Uh, yeah, okay, right. Hi, everybody. It's punk day. Lots of punks coming in. Um, so let's wait until we can give Arwell a call on the old phone thing over here. Okay, maybe the phone is broken or something. I don't know. Because normally by this point of the day, by lunchtime, we can use that and call people in. But no, we can't do that right now. Which is a little bit odd. Oh, no, there we go. There we go. It sort of popped back in time. Somebody's kind of, you know, come along and fix it up again. Um, okay, right. Very quickly. Yeah, let's bring Arwell back in. Yeah, sure, fine. Okay, so he might not chat to us much at the minute because it's just a kind of you know, a flying visit because our friendship level is not going to go up, I don't think. Um, but yeah, at least that'll, you know, it'll, you know, it'll give us some materials and it will increase the level up a bit. It just won't go up to the next level. It'll just sort of you know, boost our friendship up a tiny bit. But yeah, that's okay. That's okay. And look at this. It's what? Coming up mid-afternoon. We've got so many materials. I think... This will get us sorted. I think this will allow us to have the you know, the floor plan of our dreams, if you like. We should be able to get it sorted, hopefully, up to 420 or 450. Ah, oh, well, will give us a huge big pile of them as well, which is very nice. All right, let's just keep things ticking over until our well decides to chat to us. There we go. So our well says, you learning a lot of new recipes, Penge. Keep at it. Okay, well, I mean, at the moment, I'm preparing a ham sandwich. I don't know if you necessarily call that a recipe. You know, sort of, you know, bread, ham. That's kind of it. Maybe butter, maybe a bit of lettuce, if you're feeling fancy. I don't know. But yeah, we're kind of, you know, we're working on it. Oh, well, it's okay. Right, so how are we looking... 644 materials. Hang on, let's give that a clean. Right, 789 materials. Now, that should be plenty. Surely that should be more than enough to just get our kitchen bit sorted. So here we go. Let's do that right now. So go back to build. But yeah, if it's becoming more expensive, the more we build. Right, I think that should be enough for our kitchen. I think that should be okay. And I think we want to get, I'd say, a couple of toilets this side and a couple of toilets that side. So how about we have them, I mean, maybe we put them, I mean, we could have three possibly. Hang on, can we get that? Can we do that? 
and we could have so toilets there. There's a bit of a gap between the sort of the kitchen and the toilets. Can we do that on this side though? Have we got enough stuff? We might just have enough stuff. Oh, it, it was perfect. It was absolutely, utterly the perfect amount of materials. Okay, that's, that's fantastic. Okay, so that's kind of our floor plan. That's what it's going to look like around here, which is very nice. Um, I think then, I think let's put that in like that, because that's sort of a, maybe like a bathroomy sort of a floor. We'll put that in like that. Um, and then we can do the walls, because of course I've not been doing the walls because we've been rebuilding stuff. Um, I mean, we haven't got much in the way of sort of uh, geek cupboard corporate walls going on at the minute. How about the tea room has yellow walls because it's got the blue floor. So that's quite nice. And then pub, I mean, that does look like a pub wall already, if I'm being honest. I mean, maybe like that. That's kind of like a pub wall type thing. And then the bathrooms, the bathroom walls can be, maybe the bathroom walls can be that sort of colour. I quite like that. There we go. Right, so that looks pretty good. And then the kitchen, the kitchen also needs a wall type. Um, how about we have the blue across the back for the kitchen? There we go. Now the kitchen does need a floor as well. So how about for now, we have that as our kind of kitchen floor. It's not very exciting, is it? So maybe we'll buy a new flooring type and replace that, but that will do for now. Um, and that means down here, we can turn that back into regular kind of pub looking flooring. And then I think, uh, go back to decorate. Right, pick up that loo, put the loo just there. I mean, you can't have doors or anything on the toilets. It's fine, we'll pretend there's a door. We'll pretend there's a little door over here because yeah, it's a bit weird. You can't have sort of doorways and things, but we'll pretend that there is a door going into the little sort of bathroom areas there. Um, and then we're gonna move all of our kitchen stuff up and out of the way. So there we go, look at that. That is how it's gonna look. So yeah, it took a little bit of effort to get there, but we now have the floor plan sorted, which is wonderful. Um, let's move some of these things around a bit. We'll put that thing there. That thing can remain in the corner. The, um, the little sort of bottle thing. Uh, we'll put the poster back on the wall behind the sink that you can't really see properly. Um, that can go in the corner of the kitchen for now. And the big weird potion bottle can just go down here by the door. Okay, right. So now we've kind of cleared that space out a bit. Um, that thing can come down here. I mean, that this thing is very odd. We'll put that in the corner of the kitchen over there. Okay, right. Wonderful. So that is our kind of floor plan done. So now we don't need to invite the punks back in for a good long time. Now we just need to get all the other things stocked up, like the fish, we can buy more stuff for the cats, and we need more gold and all that kind of stuff to get more sort of, yo know, furniture and all that. Um, I think, let's do one more day, shall we? Let's do one more day. So who do we want to bring in? So not the punks. We might want to get the witches back in, just to, again, stock up on nectar stuff. Um, I mean, maybe, maybe we get, we've got quite a lot. Can we buy something nice? It looks like we could possibly buy something quite fancy. I think... Let's do that. Let's get ourselves some artists in. Let's get some uh, business people in and let's get the witches in. I think that sounds like a good plan. So, okay. And if we pop over to the furniture place, can we buy all sorts? Of oh, look at that. Got bar counters and bar sinks. Hang on, we can buy bar stools. We can get, yes, bar stools. <gasps> we can get a bar stool. Oh, this is very nice. And a rustic table to go in the pub. Okay, I mean, that can be our goal for your know, next time out, I think. That's just a bar. There's just a bar. We can have a bar. A bar barrel. Um, okay, right. This is very good. I think possibly we do... I mean, if we get the bar stuff in, that does improve one of our staff members. But I kind of feel like we do need to work on the sort of tea room side of things. But, I mean, yeah, look, there's all sorts of exciting things. Oh, this is very good. I mean, we haven't got a lofty lamp. That adds one coziness. That would be quite nice. I wouldn't mind having a lofty lamp on board. I mean, that has spent quite a lot of our stuff. Um, it spent all of our stuff. Okay, never mind. It's fine. There we go. Oh, look, we can get different things. I mean, do we want to get... So, oh, diagonal wooden floor. That might look quite good. That might look very good indeed for the, um, for the pub. Just to make it a little bit different. Um, concrete floor. I'd like some different floors. Like some different flooring going on. Um, blue floral wallpaper. That might look quite nice for the um, for the kitchen. Hang on, we'll get that first. We'll get the diagonal wooden floor because that is quite good. Um, hang on, then go back into decorate. We'll put this in as well. We'll put the lamp in the corner because that's lovely. Um, and then, yeah, where's there? Like that. I mean, it's not going to look too much different. That's much better. I like that. That that says pub with that walling there with the kind of wood paneling stuff as well. That looks very pubish. Okay, right, wonderful stuff. Um, so yeah, let's skip to the morning. So let's see how we did today. 
Hopefully we did okay. Look at that, just so many materials. So many, the perfect amount. That was an A rank, which is very good. Um, okay, so let's go to the next day. We'll bring in some business people and some artists and some witches, and we'll see how we get on. But look, it looks really good now. It looks very, very good. We didn't do some rejigging over here still of where the tables and that are gonna go. But really, over here, we're gonna have three tables, aren't we? We're gonna have three tables, and um, yeah, we're gonna have two tables with four people around them, and then one solo table. That'll make nine tables on this side, and then we're gonna have the same on this side. So yeah, really, we're gonna remove one table and quite a number of chairs away from here. So it will sort of, you know, free up that place. It won't feel quite so congested. All right, let's ring some body up. I mean, who do we ring? Everybody's on friendship level three. I suppose we could ring Carla Lala. I doubt we'll get up to level four with this one trip. But yeah, she can pop out and we can, you know, increase the friendship level, you know, friendship sort of uh, amount a little bit. And she will give us some nectar as well. So that's all good. Okay, this is unexpected. Carla Lala is asking if we ever sleep with the fishes. Okay, do I need to be concerned, Carla Lala? Am I going to find a horse's head on my pillow when I go home tonight? Uh, their beds are much nicer than you'd think, really. Oh, okay, no, it, it's not that. Okay, sorry, I thought that was a weirdly thinly veiled threat, Carla Lala. Okay, right, so we didn't get up to friendship level four with her, but we've moved closer to that, which is very good. And we did pick up some nice nectar as well, so there we go. And we've done our research stuff, so litter boxes two is now unlocked. So we've unlocked a big litter box, or the Litter Box 5000. And as everybody knows, if you have a product name and then you put a big number after it, that means it's brilliant. So the Litter Box 5000 sounds very good. Um, right, what do we go for now? I mean, I am tempted to get Toilet Tech 2 unlocked. It's not the most glamorous of things, but I think it would help out quite a bit. Unlocks a nice toilet. So at the moment we have a basic toilet, we could invest in a number of very nice toilets, or... Do we just save up and just go, do you know what? Yeah, luxurious toilets is, that's where we're going to go. Just, you know, keep our one basic toilet for now and then work our way up to luxurious toilets. Possibly that's what we could do. Rather than spending all the money on the nice toilets that we're then going to replace, just get those ones in straight away. Maybe that's what we could do. Okay, how about then? How about we unlock tea room furniture level one? Let's get that done. Hang on, what's that then? Tea room furniture one. That should be, say, Tea Room Furniture 2, I think, over that. That's a bit weird. Um, tea Room Furniture 2. So that's just more tea roomy stuff. Yeah, we'll get that done, please. And then we can complete the tea room side of things. And then we can make a start on the pub. We will get some pub stuff in, eventually, just to give our, uh, our employee a bit of a boost. We possibly could do with getting another employee in as well. Oh, hang on a minute, go and fix the coffee machine. We could do with getting another employee in as well because, yeah, it's going to get busier and busier. You know, the um, the kitchen seems to be working quite well in its new location, even though it is a little bit further away, but it seems to be going okay. Hang on a minute, go and clean the loo a little bit. There we go. All right, the loo is available again, everybody. The toilet is available. Um, Yeah, look at that. We're almost at 100 points to the 750 we need to get fancy tea room furniture. And now we're over at 139 already. So yeah, we are flying through this. 193 already. And it's the end of the day. Um, right, okay, how are things looking? Everything seems to be intact. Um, right, so I've got quite a bit of nectar, quite a bit of gold. Um, can we go and buy another thing for the, um, for the cats? Can we get another thing? Can we get the scratch post? Uh, no, we've got enough gold but we don't have enough fish. Okay, we can't get anything for the cats, which is a bit of a shame. I mean, yeah, the fancy food bowl would have been quite nice as well. Um, okay, do you know what? With that done, I think we will finish things up for now. But no, let's level up some cats, shall we? Hang on, hang on. Missy the cat can go up to level five, which is wonderful. And you can be even more popular with the artist, which is very good. And there we go. I think now with that done, we will finish things up for the moment. Um, hang on a minute, hang on, hang on. Although we do want to pause the game, don't we? Because we don't want time ticking by too much. But uh, yeah, so we'll press the staff button. We have got 23 staff training points. It would only take 12 to level us up, to level everybody up. And then we'd have a load more staff training points to give to the new person when they join us. Do you know what? Let's do that as well. Let's give ourselves this. <gasps> we get traits. Okay, right. So terrific. Plus two to all skills when at least four pieces of tea room furniture are present. Yes, that seems sensible. And it's us. And yeah, it's us liking tea stuff. Terrific. Always a good time for a spot of tea with crumpets. We're going to pick that. I mean, night owl. Yeah, okay. Hipster. Nah, no tea room for us. Thank you very much. Uh, there you go. So all our skills are boosted. 
already because we have tea room stuff, which just seems perfect. That's wonderful. Um, and we will become, I mean, we're quite, yeah, we're okay. We're an all rounder. Let's become better at serving because we do spend most of our time over there doing serving. Uh, right, Karis, let's level you up. Uh, you can become better at cooking. You can become better at cleaning. Ah, that enables the cleaning skill. Although, again, we don't really see too much sort of muck around the place. We can deal with that ourselves. Or greaser, you like the diner furniture, which we're not going to have. Um, no, go on, you can be better at cooking. That is very good. And we'll give you a point of that as well. So there you go. Um, Ethan, let's level you up. Uh, you can get the cleaning skill, greaser, or hipster furniture. Um, I suppose we could keep some hipster furniture around the place. I don't really care about you cleaning stuff. We're not going to have diner furniture. So yeah, we'll have the hipster one. So that's good for you. We have got hipster stuff because I think yeah, sort of our kitchen stuff is hipster stuff. Uh, oh yeah, you get your point as well. Um, have your point of serving to make it equal. And Zach, let's level you up. Um, you can be better at cooking, tea room stuff or hipster stuff. Um, I mean, that's plus two to all skills when at least four pieces of tea room furniture are present. Whereas that's just plus two to cooking. Um, no, we'll go for tea -rific. So you can get a boost as well. That is very good. And yeah, not too long as well. You're going to get another boost when we start putting the pub furniture in. Um, yeah, have a point of service there, Zach. Okay, there we go. With that done, I think we will now finish things up. So next time when we come back, we'll make a bit of an effort on getting the pub side of things set up. Although I would like to just maybe, maybe finish getting the tea room done as well. So we can move one table over, I would say, into the pub. Maybe move a table over and maybe then sort of, you know, get the, get the placement of our tables right in the tea room. And then we can start getting pub stuff in. And then, yeah, we need to save up for some, um, some decent toilets and all that kind of stuff. Uh, get some different kitchen kind of stuff in as well. That'd be quite nice. But yeah, it's going very well. It's going very well. We're flying through the whole sort of research tree. It's looking wonderful. All our friends, you know, become even more friendly with them, which is wonderful. We're going to start getting level four friends, which is marvellous. So yeah, it's all looking very good. So um, yeah, we'll come back next time and just carry on doing what we've been doing. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Cat Cafe Manager. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. She's still heartbroken. <laughs> She's still sick. Oh, Colleen, you're, it, this is not your day, is it? Sean Bozzini is going to defecate. How's the lounge looking? <laughs> Do you like the plants? I left them there, especially for you guys. <laughs> is there some sort of terrible apocalypse which I need to know about? He's just defecated in a bush.